this video we are going to understand the data representation so first of all before I'm going to explain data representation let us understand what is computer so what is the definition of computer computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data it has the ability to store retrieve and process data now we know that the process and retrieve everything is done by the computer what language computer understand it understand machine language that is called machine code it consists of binary code so what is binary code one zero one zero one 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 zero these are the binary numbers that are understand by the computer so what is one and zero one and zero are bits what is the use of one and what is the meaning of zero one is on zero is off true or false zero means false one means true so what is number system now we come to the number system a technique to represent numbers in a computer system when data is entered in a computer it convert into numeric format according to ASCII American standard code for information interchange each number is represented by its base number in a number system there are four fundamental types decimal number system binary number system octal number system hexadecimal number system now let us understand the first one that is a decimal number system what is decimal number system in a decimal number system the base value of decimal number is 10 it means numbers from 0 to 9 0 to 9 here it is means it start from 0 up to 9 only each digit has a value based on its position called place value when we write numbers the position or a place of each digit is important like example 327 is a decimal number how we are going to write it 7 2 3 I put a space between all the three numbers and start from right to left means first 7 then 2 then 3 you know that 1 place 10 place and 100 place as we move left each position is 10 times bigger means you should understand that thing you already know that we have to move from the right to left side how we are going to prove the decimal number i'm going to use the same number 327 is a decimal number the base is 10 i've given here that is 10 so how are we going to write down 7 2 3 now exactly the same format you have to follow from right to left you have to put the arrows like this 7 then 2 then 3 7 2 3 and write the same thing like this put the arrows these three arrows and 7 2 3 then next multiply with the base value what is the base value of decimal number is 10 then put the power 10 to the power 0 starting will always going to be 0 then 1 then 2 10 to the power 0 this is going to be 1 this is going to be 2 what is going to happen it will change 7 7 going to be remain as it is then the multiply 10 to the power 0 means 1 10 to the power 1 means 10 and 10 to the power 2 means 100 multiply 7 with 1 equals to 7 2 multiply by 10 equals to 20 and 3 multiply by 100 equals to 300 when you make a total total is going to be 327 it means it is proved that it's a decimal number now let us understand the next one that is a binary number system so what is binary number system the base value of binary number system is 2 it means it will two numbers only that is 0 and 1 number system represented base 2 means combination of 1 and 0 only 1 and 0 is going to be 
there. This is the example of a binary number at 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and you will find out there is a base value is also given. It is only a, ex, a short explanation of binary number system. In other video we will understand what is how we solve the binary numbers and we will discuss afterwards. Just now I am just explaining all the number systems. So we, this is the way all the numbers are going to be start from right to left separately 1 1 1 0 then 1 but you want to read out like this 1 0 1 1 1 but when you solve it you start from the right to left next you move to the octal number what is octal number the base value octal is 0 it means the numbers are going to be start from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 why because the base value of an octal number is a 8 the number is like this 246 246 and the base value is given that is 8 again in this case also when we start solving we will be start from the right to left first 6 then 4 then 2 means in the case if there are different type of questions then you will uh, solve it in a different manner but start from the right to left and what is the next one that is hexadecimal number what is the base value of hexadecimal that is 16 so hexadecimal number the numbers are represented with the base is 16 means digits from 0 to 9 you already know that up to 0 to 9 the numbers are going there so what about next number that is 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 the numbers which are after greater than 0 after 9 that is 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 they are represented by letters like this 10 represent a 11 b 12 c 13 d 14 e 15 f means a 4 c it means 10 4 and 12 c is 12 4 remain 4 and a is 10 you are not supposed to write down 10 if in place of a 10 4 z 10 4 12 is written so it is going to be 1 0 4 1 2 so there is no 10 there is no 12 to represent the numbers 10 12 13 14 15 we use the letters in case of hexadecimal so this is a very important thing that you need to understand and the same thing right to left now we start with the number system conversion now we will understand the conversion that how we going to convert a decimal to a binary or how to convert a binary to decimal means we are going to discuss those things afterward first we are going to start with the three conversions to convert a decimal number to binary number to convert a decimal number to octal number and to convert a decimal number to hexadecimal number now you know in the case of decimal number the base value is 10 what is the base value of binary number 2 when we convert a decimal number to an octal number decimal number my base value is 10 what is that base value of octal number 8 when we convert a decimal number to hexadecimal what is the base value of hexadecimal 16 so now we start with the first one to convert a decimal number to a binary number for that I am going to take one example here is the number I am using 17 here it is 10 that means it is a decimal number and I need to convert it to a binary number answer is not given so there is a question mark we have to solve it now how are we going to solve it in case of converting a decimal number to a binary you have to divide the decimal number with the base value of binary means this is the base value of 2 we have to convert this to a binary to convert the number base value is being used and we divide that this 70 and we will get the answer how let us start first it is a simple way you know that we are going to put the lines and it is just like an LCM first this part is going to be the remainder part 17 
is the decimal number we divide with the base value of binary number that is 2 here is the example I have shown here I divide 17 with the help of 2 2 8 just 16 what remains 1 it goes towards remainder part and 8 comes down means here and where is the remainder now go this side like this the first part we have done now next is we divide 8 with 2 here it is 2 4 ja 8 what is the remainder now 0 so 0 goes the remainder part and 4 comes down so in the same case here 4 will come right here where the arrow is being shown and remainder goes this side and what is that remainder is 0 now what is left now 4 again we divide that 4 with 2 here it is 4 now divide by 2 now what is 2 2 is a 4 what remains again 0 it goes the remainder part and 2 comes down in here also same thing happen 2 is here and 0 goes there now what is left 2 is left now again the same process 2 is going to divide by 2 like this 2 1 is 2 what remains 0 goes here and 1 comes down means here 1 and where the 0 is both this side now 1 is not going to be divided by 2 that means it is now finished now how you going to combine these all those numbers these are the binary number 1 0 0 0 like this these are the numbers the process is that you are going to start from down to top down to top including this one also so the binary will be of 17 is 1 0 0 0 1 if you will say that sir from the top also it is 1 0 0 0 1 no but you start every time you start combining all these numbers from down to top that is 1 0 0 0 1 so here is the answer of that binary that is 1 0 0 1 of decimal 17 now we move to the next one that converting a decimal number to an octal number previous we have done decimal to binary now decimal to octal again we are going to divide the number decimal number but this time we are going to divide that number with an octal number that is 8 so if we are going to convert that now number is 37 it's a decimal number and we convert that to an octal number that means we are going to divide this 37 with the 8 same process that we have done in the case of previous one so we will divide that number with the 8 how we will do it same method remainder part put the 37 here divide by 8 here it is 8 4 ja 32 now what is left 5 this 5 goes as a remainder part 4 comes down so in here how it will be done 4 will be here and remainder part is 5 now next again we are going to divide the 4 with 8 but 4 is not going to be divided by 8 so what is it done it will remain stop here only and again the same process down to top down to top what is that number is if you including this 4 also so 4 5 that is 45 is the answer is an octal number of 37 that is a decimal number the so answer is going to be like this the 37 is a decimal number and 4 5 45 is an octal number again I am going to tell you that when you divide that 37 by 8 what remains 4 remainder will be 5 and 4 is now not going to be divided by 8 so down you have to calculate from down to top 
including this 4, 4, 5 is the answer 45 that is going to be an octal number. Now we discuss the next one that is convert a decimal number to a hexadecimal number. Let us take one uh, decimal number and then start converting that to a hexadecimal number. So what is that number is 125. 125 is a decimal number and we are going to convert that to a hexadecimal. So it means that we are going to divide this decimal 125 the number that is base value is 16 of hexadecimal. We are going to divide that. Here it is written also that it will divide the decimal number with the base value of hexadecimal that is 16. So let's start. First, same process that we have done in the case of decimal to decimal to binary and decimal to octal. Put the number 125. Divide that with 16. Here it is. 16 seven yeah. one one two. What remains? 13. It goes towards remainder part, and seven comes. Down. means here 7 is going to be here and where the remainder is this side that is 13 now is the 7 is going to be divided by 16 no so it will stop here and what happened same thing arrow down to top arrow goes down to top that means 7 and 13 is going to be the part but if the answer is going to be written like this 7 1 3 we know that it is 7 and 13 but it is not the correct answer why because when we are going to read this number it is 7 1 3 but number is 7 and 13 and the case of hexadecimal there is a letters for the these numbers so if the answer is not correct so what is the correct answer so if the result is correct why still it is wrong we need to find the answer you know that in hexadecimal the base is 60 means 0 to 9 remain as it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 but 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 denoted by letters. It means 10 is A, 11 B, 12 C, 13 D, 14 E, 15 F. So if the answer is 7, 13, it will be like this. 7 remain as it is, but 13 denoted by the letter that is, what is that? It is D. So the correct answer is going to be 7D16. You are not supposed to write down 713. Why? Because it will be a number that is 713. It is not 713. We are going to read it like this 713. So you have to write down 7D.